you know, I was thinking a funny story, too, about Frank and uh, Frank and Jane and George. We were both one time at the uh, Folk Life, Pipestem Folk Life Center, Pipestem, West Virginia, which is where I met them. And this was sometime in the, probably in the 70s at this point. And I don't know if anyone out there remembers uh, Oscar and Eugene Wright. They were father and son, great old-time musicians. Oscar was a wonderful old-time a melodic banjo player, an old-time fiddler, and uh, Frank um, Frank had hung around both of these boys, and uh, uh, Eugene was about Frank's age, in fact. And um, but Eugene, who had taken up the violin or the fiddle, he uh, was a really good guitar player too. And when his dad and them would get on stage, they would swap off on instruments. Sometimes the old man would play the guitar, and, or the fiddle, or vice versa. But Eugene. His, uh, his emphasis on fiddling, he had become more of an Arthur Smith 1930s, 1940s hot fiddler, you know, and he'd play way up on the positions, you know, almost like a violinist. And, and, and Oscar was his old-time fiddler. I mean, he, he sounded like something right out of the 18th and 19th century. So they were on stage one time at the Pipestem Folk Life Center, and Frank and Jane and I were sitting out in the audience. So... Oh, Eugene uh, had accompanied his daddy on the guitar. His daddy played some really nice old-time West Virginia tunes. And, and uh, so it was time that Eugene was going to play. So Eugene's hands the guitar over to his dad, and his dad pulls out this big old thumb pick, the way the old-timers, they didn't use flat picks. They'd use that thumb pick, you know. So <laughs> Eugene announces, he bends into the microphone, he says, now I'm going to play the Sally Gooden, you know. So Frank, and we're all just ready to hear this. Well, <laughs> Eugene cuts off in this just high speed Sally Gooden he's all over the violin you know he's way up here on up on almost near the bridge playing and his dad was about 80 years old at the time his dad made one big long stroke on one chord on that guitar and the next thing you know he's just sitting there and Eugene just boy he's just like the mad violinist he's just all over this violin and he keeps looking at his dad you know he keeps rolling his eyes over his dad and we're we're up there in the audience picking up on all this and then all of a sudden over the microphone, his old man says, Eugene, what in the hell are you playing? <laughs> and we just died laughing because they were of two totally different schools, you know, of, of fiddling. And uh, you'd had to, it'd probably been there to, to, to enjoy. But, boy, it was those two you never knew. And you'd always accuse, you know, when they would play. Uh, Dean Reed was talking about him the other day, old Henry Reed's boy. And he said, yeah, he said, they'd get into these awful arguments about, you know, how fast they should play. And, but... Uh, Frank was around the best of all. Boy, I'll tell you, he, he, uh, he just picked up a little bit of everybody that he was around. 